Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Renew the Acolyte has been trending over on Twitter. Not trending, I guess. I mean, it's been on Twitter, basically. Very, very comical. Why is this? Because, of course, the Acolyte's a bomb. It's a ratings disaster for Disney. It's $180 million down the drain. It's an embarrassment. It's also an incoherent narrative mess. So it's probably not getting a second season. Rightfully so, quite frankly. And people are up in arms. We'll take a look, because I think some of these people potentially will be bots. Disney loves to employ bots. And other people, on behalf of Disney, like to employ bots. So we'll take a look at this. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Do turn the bell notifications on. But yeah, The Acolyte Season 2. Probably not going to happen. And you know what? I'm, I myself am actually really sad. Because if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, I was banking on The Acolyte being... So monumentally terrible that it would have, you know, funded potentially part of my mortgage or a classic car like the Toyota Celica. So the Acolyte Season 2 could have sealed that and unfortunately it's not going to. But I encourage Disney, please do make that second season. Please do. Please. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look. Right. So... Uh, this is it's been been going for a few days now. Retweet if you would like a season two of the Acolyte. Renew the Acolyte. Renew the Acolyte should not happen. In fact, the Acolyte should have not been to begin with. Just stop it, woke Disney. It's just a big fat no. That's how I'm, oh, I guess it did trend in the end. Then all right, there you go. Interesting. I didn't know. I didn't know it was trended. So it did legit trend. That's amazing. Uh, this is funny as hell. Renew the Acolyte. The show single-handedly revived the new gen Star Wars fandom. Yes, yeah, all 12 people. Uh, this is already a strong end and valid reason to renew it. No, it's not. What are you doing? Oh, and loads of people, by the way. Loads of people are like, renew renew the Acolyte so Kimir and Osha can get it on. Like, really? That That's why you want to renew? Really? Okay. And you'll sit here. I mean, this person's just drooling and frothing at the gash over this uh, Manny Jacinto. Kimir's quite a little hey to Osha after saying her name is cemented in my brain. Just can't get enough of people being fake mad over the existence of the Acolyte. I'm not mad. Please, please make another one. Please make another one. I'll buy a Toyota Celica then. That'd be great. Please do make another one. I'd love to buy that car. Uh, these people are so comically entertaining. Looking forward to the finale and season two. <laughs> Again, I want there to be a season two for different reasons, but you were not going to get one. Jesus. Star Wars is yet... Even bloody screen rant are getting in on it. Star Wars has yet to confirm whether a second season of The Acolyte will be coming. Now fans of the show have caused Renew The Acolyte to trend on social media. Because yeah, like 2,000 people tweeted it. It isn't certain whether we'll get more after the mixed reviews. Do you want season 2? This got a lot of views actually. 35,000 but only 162 uh, comments. Not great. Apparently it's going to happen. Yeah, it's not though, is it? Again, see? Trying to ship these people together. It's so weird. Such weird behaviour. Should they renew the Acolyte? Do you want a second season? No thanks, mate. Well, no, actually I do. Again, I do. I do want, I do want there to be one. Uh, Star Wars Holocron has got in on it. I think these were one of the main ones that were doing the ship. Uh, shipping them together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did reply to this one. Follow me on Twitter at Missed Reviews. Yes, please do. I need a Toyota Celica in my life. <laughs> uh, I love people replying to them, though. Your reputation's been ruined, bro. Yep. Oh, dear, oh, dear. L literally, just no. Some people, obviously, yes, of course. Not with those viewership numbers. Good. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen, let's be honest. Let's be honest. And that's why we're getting articles like this from Forbes. Why the Acolyte Season 2 
looks increasingly unlikely. Oh yeah, I wonder. Could it, could it be the shit viewership? The Acolyte has quickly become one of the most controversial Disney Plus Star Wars projects in the entire era. Right up there with The Last Jedi. But all the hate and all support aside, there's a simple question. Will the Acolyte get a season two? Please. Toyota Celicas aren't cheap. They might be in the States. Not over here. Ever since the last few excellent episodes... I've gone from mixed on the show to a supporter. And no matter what happens in the finale, I'd like to see it continue. But I ha they've been compromised. But I have to admit, that seems... How how on earth did you think those last few episodes were excellent? That narratively, it's like someone had a brain hemorrhage. Right? Between episodes and just kept writing. It's... It's just nonsense. So anyway, what's, what's, what's going on? No, it's not about the show being woke. Or it being bashed by Star Wars YouTubers. I'm not a Star Wars YouTuber. And their audience. Rather, it's pretty simple. Cost versus viewership. Right, so that is about it being bad then, isn't it? Right? Estimates of the cost of the Acolyte. Put it at $180 million for what are effectively eight 30-minute episodes. That's an absolutely wild amount of money for a Star Wars thing that is nowhere near theatres. But rather the sixth Disney live-action Star Wars series instead. And while I think the show has a solid aesthetic, no, it does not look like a $180 million production. No, it doesn't. But remember, those last few episodes were excellent, according to you. And you have to wonder where uh, much of that money went. I have, to a wife, maybe? Because remember, Leslie Hedden did pay a wife. Then there's viewership. Where if it was a breakout smash hit, it might be worth spending that for another season. But it's just not there. Based on what we know, Disney does not give out official numbers. But Nielsen says its premiere was half the viewership of Ahsoka and 75% lower than The Mandalorian. Reportedly, it's the second least watched show. Also behind the book of Boba Fett and Obi-Wan. I cannot imagine it surged in popularity from there. No, it hasn't, mate, obviously. Before you say, well, it's just so bad, that's why viewership is low. You should know the least watched show is Andor. Universally praised as one of the best things in Star Wars history. I mean, that is true. That is a fantastic show. But remember, people are disenfranchised with Star Wars overall. Even past the Disney era. It did, in fact, get a season two. However, on a report of $250 million budget. That's because he was smart. Tony Gilroy was smart. He secured it. That was part of his negotiations. Yes, we will get a season two. That is what we're doing. And yes, he got that. Disney might have been okay doing that once, given the sky-high reviews and massive praise for it. But the Acolyte certainly doesn't have that. And no one is saying it's anywhere close to the quality of Andor. You did say it was excellent, mate. <sighs> I love this. It's pretty easy to understand why those shows are the least watched in Disney history. They lack any and all characters that people would recognise from other Star Wars properties. Ahsoka has a decade of animated series behind it. The Book of Boba Fett has Boba Fett. Obi-Wan has Obi-Wan. Uh, and The Mandalorian did in fact star new characters. But it was the first Disney production. And everyone wanted to see how it went. It had adjacent characters, a Mandalorian reminiscent of OG Boba Fett, and Baby Yoda. The Acolyte does not have a Baby Yoda, no. A few signs of hope for season two would be Leslie Headland, clearly has a story mapped out. Disney has a lot riding on the High Republic era, being theirs to build out. And so far, that's only been done through books. I'm sure they want more shows and movies set there. They did, in fact, greenlight and all season two. They did that because... Like, as part of the initial negotiations, idiot. It was already greenlit. It was pre-greenlit. So they may do it again uh, if they aren't done overspending on Star Wars and Marvel. But I'm choosing to be pretty pessimistic here. You hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong, just so I can earn some more money from uh, the Acolyte. So anyway, this just keeps going. All this garbage over here. I need to see their beautiful faces again. God, these people. They're really... They are... Sh the stunts are so bad. They are. Look at this. Oh, he did a jump. Oh, what great stunt. Really? That's where we're at? God, it's bad, isn't it? Apparently this guy's the hottest villain ever. In their whole life. Wow. Anyway, again, here you go. Oshamir. This is the people bloody shipping these individuals off together. 
trying to get it trending. Look at the, how what what is wrong with people? It's so bizarre. Anyway, there you go. Funny. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers. Take care. Bye bye now.